So, yeah. so, I'm, so I gather all the information mm -hmm. I need from the wells. Mm -hmm. I gather all the information I have from seismic. Mm -hmm. um, we've been using uh, a 3D static model concept, so we, we will take that information into a um, computer program that then relates that to, to puts it into depth, mm -hmm. takes the seismic horizon, ties it to wells, so I get a view of what my reservoir looks like mm -hmm. in the subsurface. That really is where things begin. So in that static model, mm -hmm. we'll pretend to drill wells. So we'll have well pairs. Mm -hmm. So if we're doing a SAGD, we'd have, uh, we've done 10 well pairs. And then we add the element of time. So we would say, what happens? I've, I've told she where the bitumen is, where it is not, the porosity is, where it is not. Uh, and he drills pretend wells. Uh, and then we put them on production. So we start steam going in. We start and coming out, and we, we play with what that development will look like. And this is all on a computer simulation. This is all on computer yeah. simulation. Mm -hmm. So we simulate a, a SAGD development. In the same reservoir, we can simulate a CSS production. We can simulate solvent. We can, we can pretend to develop the reservoir. And in so doing, we make decisions about how we really want to go forward. So we make um, ideas about where the wells need to be placed in relation to a basal water zone. Mm -hmm. We um, make decisions about the pressures that we need to inject up. We make decisions about wellbore length, wellbore spacing, um, and so that we, we get it right the first time when we drill the wells. 